And when I, when I got a chance to come out here this week and, um, and get a chance to see, see the city, see the university, that was impressive. But I don't think anybody needs to know that that's impressive. I think everybody understands this is a great place. What really stood out to me were the people. And, um, and Coach Brown, his wife Sally, that made me and my wife feel so comfortable. Um, the Lost Dodds and his wife Mary Ann. The, the, the people that are here sold us because you win with good people properly led. And I've instantly felt comfortable with the leadership here at the university. Um, the opportunity to, to, to come to a school like this that, that's got to dust itself up off the mat a little bit. And, uh, and everybody knows that. And, that, and that, that doesn't happen very often now. And uh, part of the reason why I'm here is to make sure it doesn't happen again. But to, uh, to take that opportunity, it, it, it's not going to come around very often. So, uh, so for all those reasons, I'm, I am absolutely delighted to be here. The worst part is that we have to wait nine months to play a football game. But, uh, but I guarantee we've got a lot of work to do between, between now and when we kick it off, when the foot hits the ball. But um, open up for any questions. Well, obviously, um, you know, Coach, Coach Muschamp did an, did an unbelievable job here. Um, and uh, I've gotten, you know, was able to watch a couple games when I was in here this week just to get a feel for the personnel. Uh, I know that there's some really good football players coming back. The um, one thing that I'm a big believer in defensively is uh, we want to lead the nation in wins. That's what we want to do. We want to lead the nation in wins. That's the most important stat that I care about. So everything we do is going to be designed to play winning defense, what, what it takes to create a winning effort. And there are some things that I, that I believe when, when, as, as I was a defense coordinator first starting and you're trying to craft your philosophy, there's some things that, you know, you listen to offensive coaches and what drives offensive coaches crazy. What gets you beat? If you ask an offensive coach, what gets you beat? The first thing they, they talk about is turnovers. Well, therefore, if you ever get a chance to run a defense, well, your defense better create turnovers because that's the first thing that offensive coaches hate. The second thing they hate is they hate negative plays. They know that negative plays kill drives. So when I got a chance to put a defense together, the first thing our defense was going to do is, was be designed to hunt negative plays. We're always hunting negative plays. And, um, and I know there's a bunch of guys here on the school that don't need a map to get in the backfield. Um, I always like to say we, we try and sum it up in two simple terms. We're going to stop the run and we're going to hit the quarterback. And if we can do those two things, generally speaking, everything else works out for itself. And, um, but I'm, I'm definitely excited for, to, to, to get with the guys that are here. I know we've got a, a, there's, there's an abundance of defensive talent in this state at the high school level, and, um, and we'll try to assure to them that, that this is absolutely the best place for them to play football if they want to be a part of a playmaking defense. Yeah, I, uh, I've got, obviously, the most bizarre path to get here. I mean, I, I started off in Utopia. You know, my first two, my, really my first two years as, as, a, as a GA, one year we played for the National Championship, and the, the second year we won it. So I was like, man, this is easy. I mean, this, 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 this coaching thing, I got, I got this thing down pat. And um, the great thing is I, I was able to learn from a guy like Mickey Andrews. And, and I came in, I was a clean sheet of paper. I, I think that was that, I think that was part of my strength is that I had no preconceived notion I wasn't no one needed to t go into Florida State and tell them how to do anything. They were the industry standard there in the late '90s as a football program and, and absolutely on defense. So I was able to, as a sponge, absorb everything that Coach Andrews, Chuck Amato, who was the linebacker coach at that time, that they, you know, just to be a, a you know, it was every fan's dream just to be a fly on the wall in that room and and. Uh, and some of the games that we got to play in, the opportunities we got to play in. And, uh, but I'll say that I ain't get sick and tired of playing those national championship games. You know, it's bizarre. You do it your first couple of years, and then, then you go on, and, uh, and it, I'm pretty hungry to get back to that.